Hey, hey everyone, and a welcome in. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notification, and of course, the like. And without further ado, let's get into a two in one an update on Brie Asia Terrell and good old Megan Boswell. And with that, let's get into it. The first story I'm going to get into is Briasia Terrell. So, mother of missing 10-year-old Briasia Terrell responds to questions about her cooperation in police investigation. So, Briasia's mom, Aisha Langford, says she is fully cooperating with police and working on her own to bring Briasia home. Now, I don't know about any of you, but whenever a child has gone missing, there is just really nothing on Briasia. So Davenport, Iowa, nearly a month after 10-year-old Briasia Terrell went missing on July 10th, her mother, Aisha Langford, said she is doing everything she can do to cooperate with police and bring her daughter home. I don't know why, but whenever I see her mom or I read an article, I just have this weird feeling that, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it, but something is off. So Davenport police say they have not provided a formal update on their investigation in nearly two weeks of that part. At a July 22nd press conference, Chief Paul Sikorsky appeared to cast doubt on the cooperation of some members of Briasia's family, pausing for several seconds when asked about it by a reporter. See, I'm not the only one. We are definitely focusing on family and definitely interviewing family members. I think the cooperation level, that is something that may come out later on, Chief Sigorsky said. News aid asked Langford about that moment on Wednesday. At that exact moment, we took it as, who the hell are you talking to, Langford said, because we have been cooperative. We have been listening. Langford said that she even turned over her phone to Davenport police to analyze last month. After reflection, she believes Sikorsky was referring to the family of Henry Dinkins. And we all know Henry Dinkins is her ex-boyfriend, the father of Asia's son, Brie Asia's stepbrother. And she went to spend the night there and the boy came home, but Brie Asia never came home. So Henry, Henry's mother, his girlfriend, his sister, you know, those are the ones that are constantly going downtown trying to get his belongings instead of trying to help me get into their brother's head, Langford said. So for the last four weeks, Langford said that she and her family members have been taken to the road with their Bremobiles, vehicles decorated with Briasia's photo and packed with missing persons posters. We know that we may be the ones that may be able to break the case just by getting her pictures out there, getting them on anybody's hand that's willing to take a flyer, Lankford said. Asia Lankford, if you know where your daughter is or what happened to your daughter because you were with a monster and there is no way that you did not know about his past. Where is your daughter? Where are the press conferences? How come you are not going insane about them not even coming out in two weeks with a press conference to give a timeline about what happened to your daughter? Let's get into the second article. Briasia Terrell Davenport school counselor helps missing 10 year olds family hold out hope as fall semesters approaches. Now, yes, this article was on August 17th of 2020, but my real life is busy. I have a mother with dementia 
and I work and I just moved my mother with me in November so things have been definitely different so I do not have hours a day to post videos and make videos but I do videos that really touch me so it's been more than a month since anyone has seen missing 10 year old Briasia Terrell who is enrolled to be a fifth grader this fall at Davenport Community School District a school counselor and this is the counselor that was in the article about making t-shirts and face masks with her picture on them to get them out into the public's eye so a school counselor has been helping the family hold out hope as the september 8th start date approaches positively is what is truly driving her what's driving briasia's mom said deborah stevenson well i beg to differ the student achievement specialist who has been in contact with briasia's mother asia langford and I know it drives me waking up every day and just simply saying is today the day yeah is today the day that Briasia's mother is gonna say something a few days after Briasia went missing Stevenson realized that she was a participant in a mentorship program she oversees she asked for help from the network on Facebook people saw it telephone calls started coming in people wanted to know what they could do to help and the donations really, really piled up, Stevenson said. She soon made a delivery to Briasia's family, bottled water, Gatorade, snacks, and hand sanitizers. She's amazing. I love her, said Langford. She has helped me a lot. Langford is still convinced that her daughter will return and go to school this fall. I know she loves school, she loves her friends, and she loves the teachers, Langford said. We are ready, we are ready to welcome her home, said Stevenson. Now, I am going to attach a link to the video of Asia Langford, and I think all of you should watch it. It's going to be the part video that I have going through this right now, but it's going to have sound. And after you watch it just make sure you drop your comments and tell me what you think because something is not sitting right with me with this case a lot of cases but right now i'm going to focus on this one so that's all i have new on briasia terrell but like i said i am going to stay on top of it and i will keep you posted now let's get into a megan a boswell who was finally finally getting charges for the murder of her beautiful daughter Evelyn May Boswell rest in heaven beautiful girl let's talk about Megan for a minute do 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 all right let's get right into this little piece of work mother of Evelyn Boswell Megan Boswell indicted on numerous charges including murder well it is about time in my last video well not the last one but the three in one that I had Megan coming up on the court date for the 28th and I said they need to do something they're either going to have to charge her with murder or she's going to get out of jail because they cannot hold her that long for lying to the detectives the FBI whoever she lied to false information okay so Evelyn Boswell was reported missing by a family member on February 18th, 2020. She was reportedly in custody of her mother, Megan Boswell, but had not been seen since December 2019. At the request of the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office, the TBI issued an Amber Alert on February 19th, 2020, with assistance from the FBI. An extensive search was launched in an effort to find Evelyn over a 16-day period. Let me stop real quick. That is what makes me think that Evelyn was brought back to the property after it was searched initially. Because then on her charges, it makes me kind of think that, you know what, maybe I was right. I'm not a lot. I'm not right a lot, but this time I think she definitely brought that baby back to the property after the police initially searched it. Authorities received and followed up 
on more than 1,000 tips. On March 6, 2020, acting on new information developed in the case, Sullivan County detectives and TBI agents searched property belonging to a family member of Megan Boswell and the 500 block of Muddy Creek Road. During the search, the child's body was located. And I made a video on this. The baby was located outside in a tool shed, a work shed, some type of shed, still wearing the outfit that Megan said she went missing in with the pink bow and the outfit. It's been a while. I can't remember exactly what the outfit was, but it is in my video of the property and how it was put into Tommy Jr.'s name from Tommy Sr. But all of that is the past now. So at the request of 2nd District Attorney General Barry Estabas, TBI agents continued to work alongside the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office to investigate the circumstances leading to Evelyn's death. During the course of the investigation, it was determined that Megan Boswell killed Evelyn and disposed of her body. Today, the Sullivan County Grand Jury returned indictments charging Megan Boswell. Date of birth, March 21st, 01, with two counts of felony murder. That must be because of the age of poor little Evelyn one count of aggravated a child abuse, one count of aggravated child neglect, and one count of tampering with evidence on count of abuse of a corpse, one count of failure to report a death under suspicious, unusual, or unnatural circumstances, and 12 counts of false reports. Boswell was served in the Sullivan County Jail, where she was already being held on false report charges placed in connection to this case. So they kept her her court date on August 28th, 2020, 28th, excuse me, 2020, unless they changed it. So that's eight days away, and she is being held on a $1 million bond. Well, we know she's not getting out on the million-dollar bond if she couldn't get out on her last bond. I'm not sure whatever happened to the mother, Angela, and the boyfriend. I may look into them a little bit in this week and see if they went back to court and what they went through. But I never thought that her mother or that boyfriend had any involvement because, like I said in my prior videos, they were too focused on getting drugs and finding drugs. So... And her new mugshot, we've got to love it. Looks like she's put on a little weight, but that's what that jail food and all that bread and potatoes and starch will do to you. You know, there really is a lot of evil in this world. And a lot of women that are still missing without a clue of where they went, where they are, what's going on, who was the last person to see them. All right, guys, with that note, though, I am going to uh, wrap it up. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike whichever you prefer. And subscribe. Everyone stay safe from COVID. Mask up. Let's get rid of COVID-19. We all need to do our part. And little Evelyn Boswell, rest in heaven. Fly high with the angels and let's bring Briasia Terrell home. She is going to be turning 11 in December and it's time that we figure out where she is, what happened to her, and Henry Deacons, I'm sure, has the answers. And everything in this video, of course, is my opinion. But I do want to hear your guys' opinions, so please make sure you drop them below. And with that, everyone stay vigilant and have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. I am out.